Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting to George Carlin on white people. Let's see what he has to say. House of Blues. They ought to call it the House of Lame White Motherfuckers. The House In of Blues? Authentic, low frequency, single digit lame white motherfuckers. Especially these male movie stars who think they're blues artists. You ever see these guys? Don't you just want to puke in your soup? Oh. All these fat, balding, overweight, overaged, out of shape, middle aged male movie stars with sunglasses jumps on stage and starts blowing into a harmonica. It's a fucking sacrilege. Oh my God. In the first place, in the first place, white people got no business playing the blues ever at all, under any circumstances, ever, ever, ever. What the fuck do white people have to be blue about? He's going in right now. What? He's going in. George is, he's like, but you know what? This is the one thing I love about George Cartland. His... His stance was his stance and it absolutely had nothing to do with his experience in life, right? Like as a white man, his stance didn't come from my experience as a white man, right? Like he put aside all of that stuff. And I think a lot of times people in general have a problem doing that. Comedians are really good at like removing themselves from their bits. But George Carlin had a way of like really just speaking to the issue without you know, like he just said that and I didn't want to say, well, you're a white man. How can you say that about a white man? It's just like he is going in. Like you know, I, hope, I, I, th I hope I articulated that properly. Like I just think he did a really good job of not making his life experience um, any part of how he felt because he speaks so much on like world issues, political issues, social economic issues that like, but you never felt like, um, he was jaded because of who he is, what he was, you know, those things, or he was swayed to one side or the other. He was just speaking to human life and what is right and what is wrong. And I love that about him. I, it's admirable. Banana Republic ran out of khakis. <laughs> <And? laughs> the espresso machine is jammed. <laughs> Pootie and the Blowfish are breaking up. Shit, white people ought to understand their job is to give people the blues, not to get them. <laughs> and certainly not to sing or play them. Tell you a little secret about the blues. It's not enough to know which notes to play. You gotta know why they need to be played. And That's another true. thing, I don't That's think true. I don't think white people should be trying to dance like blacks. Stop that! Dance like blacks. Um, I do think that. I think the genre of blues music, it, there is a requirement to have some blues in your life. And I don't know if that speaks to the color of your skin, but I do think that like you can't actually depict the genre without having the blues, without feeling the blues, without connecting to the blues on a soul linking level, you know? So I definitely hear him on that. Um, okay, I'm gonna run this back just a little bit. Why they need to be played. And another thing, I don't think, I don't think white people should be trying to dance like blacks. Stop that! <laughs> Stick to your faggoty polkas and waltzes. And that repulsive country line dancing shit that you do. And be yourself, be proud, be white, be lame, and get the fuck off the dance floor. <laughs> now. George! I thank you. Now, listen. Long as we're discussing minorities, I like to mention something about language. There are a couple of terms being used a lot these days by guilty white liberals. First one is happens to be. He happens to be black. I have a friend who happens to be black. Like it's a fucking accident, you know? <laughs> I never thought of that phrase of like, what do you mean he happens to be black? Like he fell into some paint? Like what? <laughs> never thought about that like that. Happens to be black. Yes, he happens to be black. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had two black parents? Oh, yes. Yes, he did. Yes, that's right. No idea how it happened. And they fucked? Oh, indeed they did. Indeed they did. So where does the surprise part come in? 
I should think it would be more unusual if he just happened to be Scandinavian. <laughs> and the other term is openly, openly gay. They'll say, he's openly gay. But this is the, that's the only minority they use that for. You know, you wouldn't say someone was openly black. <laughs> well, so maybe true. James Brown. <laughs> or Louis Farrakhan. Louis Farrakhan is openly black. Very loud Colin and proud. Powell is not openly black. actually so accurate it's scary <gasps> we this is so fun wait wait is openly black <laughs> colin powell is not openly black <laughs> colin powell is openly white <laughs> he just happens to be black okay. i just lost it i just lost it i just lost it <laughs> He just happens to be black. Those are two, two, that, that scenario was where those two things actually make sense. And you should say them. That was hilarious, George. Oh, gosh. Colin Powell is not openly black. He's openly white and he just happens to be black. That was like the perfect way to like seal that, um, that bit oh gosh that was funny i love i just yeah i just think that he has a way of removing himself and just getting to the real and the funny and um that in itself is talented and applaud applaudable if it's not a word it is right now right here today you're welcome <laughs> anyway y'all go have the day you deserve peace